My Hawaiian Adventure by Vanessa Riley. Once upon a time, in a magical land called Columbia Falls, there lived a girl named Vanessa. She was graduating high school. She had so many dreams and aspirations, and she could not wait to grab that diploma and get running. Now, we're going to have to fast forward about a year from here. Now that very same girl, that one with all the dreams, is walking around the FPCC campus in Kalispell, Montana, not doing much of anything at all. And she was, sure, she was well on her way to an associate's degree, and had landed herself a couple jobs, but there was something missing. And then it happened, her sister walked up to her and told her about this amazing opportunity she had. She was going to Hawaii and she was going to be earning college credits to live, to be in paradise for three weeks. Well, of course, that Vanessa girl decided to fork over her hard-earned money and sign up. Now, once again, we're going to have, fast, have to fast forward. She steps off the plane and walks through the airport, and there she sees it. The one, the beautiful Maui. The group is met by a van. Now this is not your typical Hawaiian vacation in paradise. The group is camping out on a plantation. This plantation does not have running water or electricity. A generator is used to have the lights on when it gets dark. And all the students get to shower on the beach in their bathing suits once a day. They spend their time building rock walls and learning about the culture. They get to go to the most sacred places on the island. This is the Iao Valley, absolutely gorgeous. More of the Iao Valley, absolutely sacred. They get to speak with the most knowledgeable and well-known elders on the island who get to teach them all about the culture of the Hawaiian people. That girl named Vanessa, she gets to take a scuba diving class, get certified, and get a college credit for it. Whales, sharks, she gets to see them all. The beautiful scenery. The amazing culture and the crashing waves. Everything about this island, absolutely breathtaking. Native plants are everywhere, rainbow eucalyptus trees, beautiful with the colors running up their trunk. Lunch at a beautiful lagoon, equipped with swimming and waterfall on our way to Hana. The road to Hana with its windy, windy roads and beautiful, beautiful views. Sand of every color. Look at this black sand beach. Up close black sand beach. You're not allowed to take the sand from the islands of Hawaii because it's bad luck. Red sand beaches. White sand beaches. Best for body surfing. Eating the most amazing mahi mahi sandwiches I've ever had in my life. <coughs> Seeing the beautiful resorts with their amazing swimming pools and great views. And this, this is Jaws, the world's largest surfable wave. It only breaks about three times a year and it's a phenomenal, epic thing to watch it. This is our last day on the island. This is where the plantation we've been camping out on and we can see jaws breaking. If you can barely see the little dots in there, those are the surfers being pulled in by a helicopter to surf it. Our last day on the island was an epic one for surfing. There were surfers all over the island. Nobody wanted to go to work that day. Maui is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Aside from our beautiful Flathead Valley, it is probably one of the only places I'd love to live one day. The culture is amazing, the people are amazing, and it is one of those things that you just need to get there and see and do and be. Well, that 
Carl ended up having a great time with this group of students. Saw things, did things, never thought, but always dreamed she would. And Maui will always and forever be a learning experience that was absolutely epic and is the beginning of a long, adventurous life.